Okay, here we are, game two, the FLG Spring Fling, I think they call this tournament. Game two, 10 a.m. This is the, uh, what do we got, Legacy Tornadoes against the Westchester Pride. One of their team members informed me they practice out of Scarsdale, so somewhat central, southern Westchester. On the whistle, off we go. The horn sounded a few seconds ago, so we're a little late starting here. Face-off goes to Westchester. Ground balls on the turf here. Turf is a little bit different for us. I don't know what the heck that was. Just a loose ball pass maybe? I, I don't know. Ball's gonna run a lot faster on the turf. Hopefully they're ready for it. Ball being inbounded by Westchester Pride on the far side. Back to the goalie. Looks like a really deep pocket on that goalie stick. Go, Kobe, go in. Go, Jack. Shot saved by Parkin. Loose ball. Sorry, I was fixing the camera there. Didn't like the way the balance was working for me. Oh, Pride goes unassisted across the field, shoots and scores on a rifle shot, puts the Pride up one nothing. Facing off after a pride goal. Ball scoots out. How are we not getting face offs? Number three is running downhill, beats his man, runs into trouble. Loose ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chase Rogers comes up with it running up field. He's got Rooney. Uh. There, feed him, feed him, feed him. Whoa! Travato with a spinning shot puts it top shelf, ties the score at one. Uh, 
Patrick Maloney comes up with it. Boom, boom, boom. Four quick passes equals a goal. Puts the Tornadoes up two to one. All right, just about to face off after an equipment adjustment by number 22 here. Face off, still on the ground. A couple of kicks, a couple of shoves. Hold on, man down. Looks like Mullins got knocked down. We'll be back. Sorry, we're back in action after a uh, injury. I believe it was. Um, I, I believe it was Ryan Cunningham that was down, and uh, took. A, he was down for a while. He's off the field now. I uh, had stepped away from the camera. I missed the last possession. Tornadoes had the ball, and were not able to score. Pride just brought it up upfield and bounce shot. Put another point on the board. Ties it up at two. All right, just about to face off here. Um, we're still in the first half. The score is presently tied at two. Um, we lost a lot of time in the injury. Presently, about 11 minutes and change left here in the first half. That face off is knocked loose. Mullins fighting for it. Pass to the cutter goes incomplete. Unable to convert. Why are we both wearing dark colors? One of these teams couldn't change. I didn't see what the call was, but possession stayed gray. down blue ball oh that's way high bounce pass is picked off by a pride member Okay, looks like Lars is going to... I can't tell from here. I don't know if that's Lars or Patrick. So we're going to go man down here. Nine twenty on the clock by my watch. Pride is inbounding here at the thirty yard line. Shot. I don't know exactly what <laughs> what happened there. I wasn't really watching. I have a concern about battery life right now. My, some of my other children are racing up here with an extra battery pack for me, just in case we run into trouble. Left side shooter goes wide. All right, backed up by uh, Colin Parkin. He said blue. He said blue. It's our ball. All right, here comes my extra battery. Thanks, buddy. 
Are you running around your slides like your big brother? Thank you. All right, sorry. Oh, Rooney comes around the corner, pulls it too hard. Shot goes wide right. Backed up by a tornado player. Ball's gonna stay blue. We've got somebody down, it looks like, by the color of the cleats to be AJ Drummerhauser. I didn't see how he fell. Seems to be in a lot of pain though. Pull it back. Okay, Drummerhauser has helped from the field. They're waiting for the players, the injured player, to clear before they blow the whistle. I'm showing six minutes and 24 seconds remaining on the clock. We got him beat. Feed is not uh, received. Ball rolls all the way up to the midfield line. They're calling, I don't know what they called. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very distracted right now. I believe the score to still be 2-2. Two, two. Parkin makes another save. A little battle by the crease. Turn around, you got Mullins right there. Oh, long pass upfield. I think that's Morioni. Oh, beautiful feed by Kevin McCann to Rooney. Rooney gets stuffed by the goalie. Lift. Ah, ball's knocked loose, but eventually comes up with it. Bounce shot goes wide. Colin chases it, not in time. Ball turns. Uh, ball stays. Pride. Another shot saved by Parkin. Outlet pass. It's Connor Peacock carrying. Looking for Braden. Braden gets swarmed. Oh. Seems to be some debate about a crease or not. They got a penalty down for a shot and then a penalty on the goalie. Two flags down. Let's see how this plays out. Score is 3 2. Hey, get up. Get up. 
All right, on the whistle, we are, uh, it's Rooney inbounding the ball here. As we start the second half, we are in a man-up position because of a penalty at the closeout of the first half. First half, for the record, uh, ran two minutes short. All right, that was Rooney jamming the top shelf on the man up, putting the score at 4-2. Um, I'll finish my thoughts when we get back. Okay, we're back from an extra man goal by the Tornadoes, putting the score at 4-2 here in the second half. Uh, as I was going to say earlier, the first half... Oh, we got another shot to the helmet, so we got a delayed penalty. Rooney carrying up field as a midfielder. We're going to be man up here in a few moments. Uh, let's try to keep the ball off the ground and score here. Oh, that's not a good shot, Ryan. Come on. All right, number three, White was called for a penalty. All right, I guess somebody called a timeout. We'll be back. All right, on the whistle, we are underway here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. We are man up as expected. Man up unit is on the field, obviously. There's a quick screen, poke it around the back. Rooney's shot is saved by the goalie. Goalie's out. Long pass goes incomplete. Scooped up by a pride member. Shot saved by Parkin. Top shelf. Feeds it out to McCann. I can't I can't tell if that's McCann. Oh, great save by the goalie. Comes out of the crease to make that one happen. Scooped up in the backfield by... I'm guessing that's Travato. All right, penalty is killed. They're back to full, full steam. Full staff. McNamara's carrying, he's pressing, draws two. Looks like Peacock at X. Feeds Peacock, turns. Oh, almost scoots it through. Ball gets turned over, no one's home to chase it. Goalie ball. Peacock on the chase. Beats the ride. Moves up into our zone. Score is still 4 to 2. 18 25 on the clock by my measure. Oh, Wyatt almost had a pick off there. Come on, fight him. Wyatt's having some trouble scooping that one up. Come on, guys, scoop a ball. Loose ball push on Tornadoes. Ball's going to stay pride. Oh, 
A lot of patience here by the pride looking for an opening. Ball's knocked loose. Come on, get that ball. Chase Rogers comes up with it back behind the cage. He's got room to run, looking for a pass. Upfield. Connects with, I'm guessing that's Morioni by the running style. It's pretty speedy. <clears throat> Drummer to uh, McNamara, McNamara to McManus. There's Connor Peacock with the ball. Back to X, McManus. Don't let it go out of bounds. Saved by McManus. Oh, there's a seam right there. Somebody go. And he saw it. Oh, oh, he got man down. Oh, just misses the cage. Nice shot. I'm joined here in the recording booth by uh, second grade defenseman Tyler Rooney, all-star for the Smithtown Bulls. Tyler, how are you today? Doing good? How's the weather out here, buddy? Pretty hot, right? Sun just came out, baking us all with our Irish skin. And just like that, he left the recording booth and he's off to do something probably fun as second graders are known to do. We got a long pole coming up here into the offensive zone. Sorry, a little too far. Pass is picked off by another long pole. Short pole's got it. Nice check there, sends it to the floor. Ball pops out, unable to recover. All right, Morioni is called for a penalty. So the pride brings out their extra man offense. Just a little bit. All right, uh, on the whistle, we got 14.20 on the clock with a one minute penalty, so let's see how this goes. Crease, man. Come on, scoop, ball. Guys. We're 40 seconds into the penalty. Another shot goes long, backed up by the pride. 14 seconds left. All right, we're back to all even. Penalties effectively killed. Yard sale behind the cage, scooped up by. Can't tell who. That might be Millar's carrying. No, Rogers. No, Lars. Long pass goes way long. Peacock is not able to come down with it. That was a really high pass. Not his fault. Score remains four to two here. About 12 minutes and change remains on the clock. Shot goes wide, chased down by a pride player. Ball's gonna stay their possession. Uh, sorry folks, camera issues. 
We're back. Ball is high. Rogers comes up with it. Plucks it out of the air. All right, he's got a man to pass to right there. Nice catch on the run by Mullins. Mullins feeds Peacock. Oh, shot pass is deflected by a defenseman. McManus picks it up and jams it home. Rifle shot puts the score at five to two. With 11 and a half left on the clock. We'll be back. I'm soon to be joined here in the booth by, uh, with my son, Mason Rooney, who made his way up to the top of the bleachers here. Mason, say hi to the camera. And we've got to get back to playtime here. There we go. Hey, bud. Okay, face off is pushed off to the, past the restraining line. Battle at the restraining line. The pride come up with it. Sun has poked through the clouds and I'm officially getting cooked up here in the grandstands. Ball pops into the crease, scooped up by Colin Parkin. Outlet pass. Outlet pass was to Coleman, I believe. Patrick. Oh, Patrick. That was uh, that's Patrick Mahoney. Coleman is off to the right side here, down by the 15-yard line. Got some debris blowing across the field over on a 30-yard line. Shooter. I don't know what that was. I think it was a... Yeah, we had a flag down. I didn't see that. That's going to put the pride back into an extra man offense. Score is presently 5-2. Nine minutes and 16 seconds remain on the horn clock. I'm not sure if they're adhering to that. Clock management has been a lit, little sketchy so far today. There goes Mason Rooney as he runs down the bleachers. And we're back in action. Inbounding here from the bottom corner over to X. Coleman comes up with it. Coleman comes up with it, and we've got a shot to the helmet, so there's a flag down, and the ball hits the ground. On that, there'll be a whistle blown, and we'll go man up. All right, we're going to go into our own extra man offense here with about eight minutes on the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five plus goalie is six. All right, on the whistle, we are underway. Rooney is inbounding from the 40. Extra man offense on the field. Goalie, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
Ryan was clear, uh, maybe it was Peacock. Somebody was clearly on their horse out of his view sight. Everybody should be on man! It's coming up! So, guys, wide open. How are we leaving people wide open an extra man? I don't know. There it is. Loose ball. Chase that down. That's Coleman doing a great job. I didn't indicate what time this extra man started. Come on, Braden McNamara looking for a score. Nothing there. Strategically backs that out. Who do we have on the field? One, two. Yeah, we're missing somebody. All right, Braden goes unassisted, tucks it into the cage, puts the score at 6 2. Seems to be some question if Braden was warding. It was not called by the ref, so it doesn't exist. All right, after a McNamara goal, score is Tornado 6, Pride 2. Facing off is Johnny Mullins. Face off goes Pride. Ball's gonna stay, gonna go blue on Collins Chase. Nice job, Colin. Why is this so wonky? Sorry, still trying to fix my camera here. I'm teetering on chairs on, on uh, benches here. For some reason, the panning is just not level. Okay, Rooney strategically backs off the cage there. Looking to beat this man one on one. Feeds. Uh, shoot it. Pull the trigger. Go. Ah, shovel pass doesn't connect. Johnny Mullen scoops it up. Oh, shot goes wide. Chased by Rooney, he's going to stay blue. By my measure, we got 338 on the clock here. Ryan Rooney is inbounding from behind the cage. Pass. Oh, hits the top pipe, doesn't send it home. After a nice spin move through two defenders, that unfortunately didn't find its way to the cage. Rooney comes up with it. Mullins feeds it down. Oh, goalie comes out, makes a great stuff on Travato. Goalie's running. Oh, nice knockdown there by Wyatt. Uh, he just called timeout with under. All right, we're back from a timeout. They're trying to get people back on the field. By my measure, we got one minute and 14 seconds left on the clock here. So, not sure what we're gonna see out of this. I got 50 seconds on the clock. I'm not sure what's happening here. Ball is knocked loose by a pride player. Shot goes wide. Chased out of bounds by a pride player. I got 33 on the clock. Saved by Parkin. 
Ball chases out behind the cage. I got 10 seconds on the clock. See how accurate they are with the horn this time. Two, one. All right. They're gonna call that a goal. That puts the score at six to three. Uh, my 25 minute timer was up. Maybe they're giving us two extra minutes back from the first half. So I will restart my clock just to see what that does. I could really use some shade right about now. All right, facing off after a pride goal. The score is 6-3 in favor of the Tornadoes. Face off is kicked. Illegal procedure by Blue. Ball goes to the pride. I guess we're calling them gray or white. Sorry. I've added two minutes to the clock. Maybe they're giving us back the two minutes we lost in the first half because the 25 minute marker was a long time ago. All right, that's one extra minute we've got so far. Okay, they're calling a hold on blue. Ball goes white, or stays white. We're all even now. We've got another penalty called. We're officially a minute and a half past the 25 minute mark. All right, the Pride are gonna run their war machine. Don't know when, to, what to make it a clock. This game should have been over almost a full two minutes ago. And there's the horn, so they did give us back our two minutes. Tornado's gonna go home with a win, 6-3, over the Westchester Pride. Um, we'll be back for game three in about an hour. See you then.